right on cue, ladies and gentlemen. Discourse on the right wing, as it pertains to this pandemic, will absolutely determine how the pseudo left covers it. Holler if you hear me, you know I'm right. You know I'm right when it comes to that. These folks who I refer to as pseudo left will absolutely determine how they cover the pandemic based on the discourse coming from the right wing. And you know it's true. Don't even try. Don't, don't, don't even freaking try. Whatever mental gymnastics you're freaking thinking about doing, forget about it. <laughs> I got you dead to rights. You know it's true. So check this out. Jimmy Dore is an ivermectin imbecile now. Hmm, interesting. Ivermectin, an anti-parasite drug. Why would you need an anti-parasite drug for a virus? Uh, it's a good question, right? It's a good question. Maybe we shouldn't ask Jimmy Dore. We shouldn't ask Jimmy Dore. So, Ken Klippenstein responds to this conversation, this little interaction Jimmy Dore had, where a lady posts something and she says, People, uh, literally people won't take the vaccine because they are suspicious of that, but they're taking horse deworming medication that they're buying at a feed store for COVID? Hashtag Maddow. Okay, so apparently Rachel Maddow did some reporting on it, which is probably a good thing instead of covering the freaking Russiagate hoax all the time. <laughs> Jimmy Dore responds with a almost completely fabricated uh, study. And here it is. Chest infection. Original research, January 1st, 2021. Use of ivermectin is associated with lower mortality in hospitalized patients with coronavirus disease. 2019. The ivermectin and COVID-19 study. <laughs> it's very interesting that he would post that because like I said, it's been completely debunked it's been complete and you know what we'll get to that we'll get to that but what does ken klippenstein stay here say here he says Jim jimmy Dore is a horse dewormer guy now a horse dewormer med guy now lol by the way i love how millennials or zoomers or folks like that it could be they could be talking about like the most uh macabre subject possible and they'll throw an lol in there because you know, you got to be able to laugh or you're going to cry. I mean, this is bad. This is not good. How could this possibly be good? He has like a million subscribers. He's all over Joe Rogan. He's all over freaking Tucker Carlson. This ain't good. Not based. <laughs> so he gets like, I mean, he gets good engagement here. 14,000 uh, likes, about one and a half thousand uh, retweets. And of course... Like clockwork, Nico Outhouse has to respond. Nico Outhouse, of all people. A freaking anti-vaxxer anti extraordinaire. <laughs> Although I will say, every time I talk about him, I have to give credit to his uh, name here. Like mine is the All-American Socialist on Twitter. Not my handle, but my name. His name is... His name is Joe Biden hates black people. That's his name. That's his name on Twitter. And I laugh every time I see it. Every time I see it, absolutely sensational. <laughs> the only thing I could possibly salute you for. And he responds, you're an idiot. Ivermectin is used as horse dewormer because it already, it already being used to remove parasites in humors. I think he obviously means humans. Horses and other animals also use ibuprofen as painkillers. You going to stop taking that too, moron? Uh, yeah, ibuprofen is used as a painkiller in humans as well. Uh, the horse dewormer is an anti-parasite. COVID is a virus. <laughs> Hello. I obviously respond to him. Nico horse medicine. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, my, my mind was just all over the place. I was like in a freaking malaise. I was like, what is going on here? Is this re really where we're at? And then the light bulb went off. The right wing is determining their discourse on this. There's just no getting around it. Now, Ken Klippenstein did say something down here. He says, Jimmy, 
He says, uh, what do you take ivermectin for? And Jimmy Dore actually responds. He says, what is this anti-science character you're playing? Really? Come on, man. That you, like, you know that's, that's at least a little bit of projection. You know that's a little bit of projection because you're using pseudoscience. The pseudo left is all into pseudoscience, bro. They're all about the freaking pseudoscience. They're all about the conspiracy theories. <laughs> Ken Klippenstein responds, What is this livestock character you're playing, bro? <laughs> oh, my man. A livestock character indeed. Look, this isn't the first time Jimmy Dore has, has gone there. It's not the first time Jimmy Dore has gone there with this store stuff. The Surfs even points it out. The Surfs uh, says right here. Matter of fact, they clip them. They clip them up and they got the freaking, uh, they got, they got the text right here. The transcript. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It says, this is Jimmy Dore right here. This is Jimmy Dore. This is this deranged lunatic. Isn't it funny Dr. Fauci never mentions ivermectin? Isn't it funny that we could have cut the deaths by a third if we had Medicare for all? Isn't it funny that Dr. Fauci doesn't mention Medicare for all or ivermectin? What? What? Medicare for all? Ivermectin? Medicare for... Single-payer universal health care is proven to work. It's proven beneficial to people. Ivermectin, uh, the doses you use for horses, it's not, pr it's not proven... Uh, beneficial to people for COVID-19. It's just not. I mean, Durant, Dr. Fauci and Medicare for all, what the hell are you talking about? My goodness gracious. <laughs> look, let's look at some of these responses to Nico House. Let's look at some of these because these are, oh my God, these are hilarious, dude. These are absolutely sensational. <laughs> oh, this is one of my followers. Well, I follow him too. Mutuals, I guess they call him. He says, LOL, your descent is almost complete. <laughs> uh, hungry, hungry himbo responds. Do you think COVID is a parasite? It's a good question. Does Nico House think COVID is a parasite? Bad Socialist responds, Nico Horse. I think you're going to be seeing a little more of that. Next, one. This is by Matt Mercy. Ibuprofen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, not a painkiller. Idiot. Two, taking an antiparasitic to get rid, uh, to rid yourself of a virus is like taking abortion pills for the flu. JFC, you're such an absolute clown. <laughs> Next, take your horse dewormer pills, Nico. It's what Jimmy would want. You know, that brings something, that reminds me of something. It's really funny, isn't it? All these fake tough guy and wannabe wise guy right wingers, all they can talk about is hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin. They, they barely mention remdesivir. Okay, let alone Regeneron, okay? Unless unless you're getting, like, some freaking moolah for it, like Ron DeSantis, you probably ain't mentioning it, okay? But when it comes to someone, when it comes to these guys, they all get the vaccine. I mean, uh, Texas's governor, Abbott, is on his, he's got his booster already. He already has his booster. He's got three shots already. And whenever they get sick, they go to the hospital because they trust science. They get the vaccine because they trust the science. They lie to their base because they know they got a bunch of schmucks. They know they got a bunch of schmucks. They truly do. When they go to the hospital, they ain't taking hydroxychloroquine. When they go to the hospital, they ain't taking ivermectin. All right, they're taking the good stuff, okay? You know they're taking the good stuff. I know they're taking the good stuff. They know they're going to take the freaking good stuff. They're taking the steroids, they're taking this, they're taking that. You know what's up. You know what's up. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Nico Horse. Ne next, Nico Horse. <laughs> the next, there's my Nico Horse medicine. Next, here I am again. Nico Outhouse always gets it wrong. Nico Outhouse always gets it wrong. 
Nico Outhouse always gets it wrong. Nico Outhouse always gets it wrong. But it isn't approved to treat COVID. This is off-label use and is considered highly experimental. Also, one of the studies was retracted because the study was deeply flawed. Amazing how they can say, well, you know, the vaccine isn't approved by the FDA, although it is now. And of course, like clockwork, they're just moving the goalpost. They're saying, well, it was rushed. Yeah, it's almost 2022. We're talking COVID-19. You do the freaking math. Does that sound rushed? You do the freaking math, pal. During a pandemic, does that sound rushed? But they can take this stuff for, as he said, off-label use. Amazing. Amazing. Next, L. Next, Nico Horse. Next, Clown Emoji. Next, to remove parasites in humans. I emphasize the important part. You were this close. Parasites. Parasites is what they emphasized. Not virus. Next, Nico Horse. Oh, yes. Yes. Next. LOL. In defense of the horse dewormer. Straight up sad, my brother. Next. Nico Horse. Oh, yes. Yes. Phil Val Next. Phil Valentine took ivermectin to treat his COVID and he died when they removed him from the ventilator two days ago. Ouch. Next. Humors? We already corrected that. He meant humans. Next, COVID is not caused by parasites. Please tell me you understand that. Next, I'm waiting for, okay, but like viruses are technically like tiny parasites. As if that changes the fact that paras parasites, ivermectin targets are eukaryotic organisms of which COVID is not. I think, I don't know if I pronounced that right. It might be eukaryotic. Yeah, that looks like eukaryotic. And wouldn't you know it, Mark Pocan actually responds to this. Mark Pocan responds and says his 15 minutes are way over. They're over with progressives. He never really had them with leftists, but they're certainly over with progressives. You know exactly who he's aiming for. You know exactly who he's talking to. Look at his comment section. You know, it's funny. When right-wingers are in my comment section or TYTs or Majority Reports or even Kyle Kalinske or any of these other characters, it's always from a negative uh, standpoint. I'm talking right-wingers, retrograde right-wingers. Okay, they're reactionary, right? They're regressive, right? Not your regular red dog conservative or blue dog conservative, okay? Not your run-of-the-mill libertarian capitalist. You guys get that I differentiate there. It's amazing how negative those reactionary and retrograde right-wingers are. But when they're in Jimmy Dore's comment section, it's all gravy, baby, because they hear what they want to hear. They see what they want to see. They get what they want to get. <laughs> Next, Jimmy Dore has taken ivermectin, which is bad news for those worms in his brain. Mm -mm -mm. If Jimmy Dore is a parasite, he's in trouble. Taking ivermectins for parasites. <laughs> Next, the biggest study in that macro study supporting ivermectin to treat COVID got recalled as it was completely fabricated. And I think they mean meta, meta study. So a meta study is when they take a series of studies, okay, instead of just one, and then look at the conclusions from all of them. They check out, look, it's not that simple. They look at the, the methodology and all that stuff. They could explain it to you better than I ever could. And a meta study is what you want. If you're talking about, you know, veganism or anything scientific, biology, chemistry, your, your diet, drugs, you want to look at meta studies. Studies are nice. You get down into the nitty gritty of each study. Okay, that's fine. But when a meta study comes out, you're freaking looking good to go, especially if it's really, really, really going in your direction. So look at this. Huge study supporting ivermectin as COVID treatment withdrawn. Over ethical concerns. Mm, that's not it. That was in The Guardian. This is in Nature.com. Flawed ivermectin preprint highlights challenges of COVID drug studies. The study's withdrawal from a preprint platform deals a blow to the anti-parasite drug's chances of COVID treatment. 
And by the way, I don't blame people for looking, uh, looking all over the place. They're in a malaise themselves. Okay, they're in a chaotic situation of themselves getting battered with misinformation and disinformation and all this stuff. But you've got a lot of people looking out for you. And it just so happens that a lot of times you're not listening to them in particular. You're getting angrier at us than you are at these people freaking scamming you. That's messed up, man. That ain't cool, man. You shouldn't be doing that shit. Y'all need to listen a lot more. Listen a lot more to learn instead of listening to respond. And by the way, a lot of the people who are getting this uh, this COVID-19, okay, they end up dying because they get pneumonia, you know, double, double, double lung pneumonia every freaking time, all right? Turns out there are vaccines for pneumonia. Imagine that. There are vaccines for pneumonia. You don't got to take horse dewormer. You don't got to take sheep dewormer. You don't got to take goat deworm sheep. How, you know, how fitting. How fitting. All right. Well, come on, guys. You got to look out for each other. You don't tell people to do that sort of stuff. You don't tell people to do this hydroxychloroquine nonsense. We know what works. Social distance when you can. Vaccinate if you can. Wear a mask and stop talking shit. Now, look, I'm going to leave it at that. We got a lot of other more important stuff to cover.